QuickBooks Online 2022 Bill for Hourly Services of Staff Enter Billable Time. Get ready because it's go time with QuickBooks Online 2022. Here we are in our Get Great Guitars practice file. We set up with a 30-day free trial. Holding down control, scrolling up just a bit to get to the 125% currently in the home page, otherwise known as the Get Things Done page. Business view as compared to the accounting view. If you wanted to change to the accounting view, it's something that you can do by going to the cog up top and down to the switch to the accounting view. We will be toggling back and forth between the two views, either by going here or jumping over to the sample company file currently in the accounting view. Back to Get Great Guitars, we're going to imagine now that we're going to be entering data or billable time into the system and then taking that time and using it to create invoices to bill the customers. We're going to imagine that we have guitar instructors as our two employees, in other words, acting as guitar instructors, giving us the hours that they have worked that we're going to imagine to be billable in a similar fashion as you might do if you were, say, a law firm or an accounting firm or a tax firm or something like that where you typically have a partnership type of setup and then you possibly have staff and you have the staff basically listing out what they have worked on in some way shape or form you then taking that information and using it to bill the clients with now we could then have the staff fill out this billable information in multiple different ways if we've got the payroll set up you could possibly use the time tracking information so that you can actually send them the information uh, on email and see if they could basically fill out the timesheets to help you out possibly with the payroll as well as possibly with your billable information as well. We're not going to get into the T uh, sheets here, but instead use the billable time option up top in the plus button up top putting our information into the weekly time. Now, as you think about the weekly time, you also want to think about how you're going to be uh, billing your customers. Do you want to bill them just on some kind of rate for the employee? So in other words, if I have two employees, am I just going to charge some rate? Most likely not the rate that I actually pay them if I pay them on an hourly rate, but rather some billable rate that will be fixed or are we going to charge some kind of billable rate by what they do? And if we charge some billable rate by what they do, then we're going to have to know, uh, obviously, what it is that, that, that they're working on more specifically and what the rate is going to be for the items or things that they are doing. Also, just realize that uh, in, in any situation, if you could standardize and get away from the billable rate, and possibly do something like with the bookkeeping that we have talked about instead of charging on an hourly basis give some kind of package and say hey we're going to give you this amount of services if your transactions are within a certain level you can see this is basically what kind of intuit does as well they say well we're going to bill you out for the use of the software if you have so many transactions or so many accounts that you will be using and so many users and so on if you can package your billable items in that way it can make things easier with the billable and save times on the billable items and make your billable items a little bit more concrete possibly easier to sell but if they're going to be unique jobs you're working on that'll be difficult to do and all you can really do at that point possibly is do the good old billable billable time strategy so we're going to go in here we're going to go into the weekly time sheets again go into the weekly time sheets and just enter our time we're imagining that the employee then has been tracking their time and possibly we're going to enter it into the system or possibly allow them to enter <clears throat> their time into the system we're going to say that this is going to be at some point in february the current month we're working on so let's go from february uh, 20th to 26 so there we have that and then i'm going to say that this is going to be for let's start the first one is for adam so let's say this is adam our employee we're not entering this for their time to bit to to for the payroll purposes but for billable purposes and we can select the detail here in terms of who we're paying for choose a customer let's add a new customer and say it's customer one a very generic name you're not even trying on the names anymore customer one that's you can't okay yes customer one that's what we have generic customer one and we're going to pay item i'm going to say it's going to be for we have the pay item as opposed to the the salary down here because he's paid salary I'm, and we could put the description i'm going to say 
guitar lessons and then we're going to say it's billable on the hourly and we'll put this in place for saying uh, i think what did we charge for we're going to say 75 75 here and notice it's not pulling this information from like an item that we set up uh so we're you, you know we're gonna have to make sure that we know what the billable items are going to be based on either just a standard rate for adam or based on what is being taught possibly in this case guitar lessons so then is it going to be taxable we're going to say no because it's going to be a service item and let's say that we work two hours here and two hours on wednesday and then he also worked on customer number two customer are you kidding customer number two customer number two that's what he called himself that's his name customer two had guitar lessons customer two came in for some guitar lessons and then select we're going to say it's billable also guitar lessons that we had here 75 for customer number two and they worked uh mr adam worked on this mr hamilton worked on that on tuesday and thursday so four hours total for the for this current week for customer one four hours customer two uh for four hours that we're going to be billing out at the 75 which comes out to the 300 dollars. so we will be making an invoice in future presentations for that amount so let's go ahead and save it i'm going to say save and new and do the same thing for our other employee erica imagine she's given us her time sheet for the stuff and guitar lessons she's been doing for her customers who also have generic names so we're going to pick up uh, erica now drop down and we've got erica smith she's also a guitar instructor as it happens that uh, is doing guitar lessons we're going to hit the drop down and this is going to be on uh, the 2220 to 226 again for erica and she worked with another customer which happens to have the name of customer three customer three came in and it was like wow these other two customers have really similar names here but my last name is three as a compared to customer one so we're going to select the item instead of the regular pay here it's going to be guitar lessons again guitar lessons guitar lessons and we'll copy that out and erica i think we're, we're up in the charge to 115 115 for erica and she worked on we're going to say monday two hours and wednesday so same kind of spread two hours and then you won't believe this but the next customer that came in was named customer four I, that's how it worked it's not my fault that people have that's just what happened so this is going to be 115 once again non-taxable on tuesday and thursday so she worked for uh, four hours customer three four hours customer four at the rate of 115 we're saying in because she's got some advanced technical guitar the guitar technique skills that people are, are it's highly highly in demand uh it's at least more than adam i guess i don't know if 115 is good for guitar le anyways that's what it is so we're going to bill that out so i'm going to say save and close this time and we'll actually bill it out next time but of course when we bill it out we're going to say now that the time is entered we can go right into that invoice and we can choose some of these new customers customer one two three and four i'm thinking they might have given us a fake name to get some free guitar lessons maybe because i've feel like no one would actually call name themselves so, and then when we go into there we get the billable information on the right so we won't add it at this point we'll do that next time so this is once again one of those preludes to the great epic of get great guitars to something that may possibly happen in a future presentation